welcome back. This is By the Book, and we're your married relationship coaches. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. And today we're talking about Married at First Sight, Season 15, Episode 15. Sasha and Nate, but this is a sidebar. So if you join us every week, you already know what it is. If you're new, hit subscribe and join the party. We are about to take a small issue about Sasha and Nate and blow it up into our own little video. Um... Because we're here at home talking about <laughs> what's going on with Sasha and Nate. Yeah. Um, we see, and they highlighted a lot about the control issues that Sasha has. But one of the things that my husband and I had a side conversation about mm-hmm. um, was the children issue. Yeah. I think we might be missing, or we may not be putting the amount of importance on um, an understanding and agreement about how to raise kids and and what that looks like in a a healthy household. And I think that could be a challenge for them, especially because Sasha is trying to hurry up and have kids, which I understand, Mm -hmm. you know, as as she's aging, Mm -hmm. um, she's wanting to do that while it's it's not too much of a challenge. But I think it's going to be key that they come to a meeting of their minds and they feel very far apart in terms of what they think and what they expect is going to happen once a kid or multiple kids come. Yeah. Yes. You have one who thinks life ends when you have <laughs> kids and another one who thinks life is not going to change at Yeah. All and those are two kids. very unrealistic. I, I hope for Nate anyway. <laughs> those are two very unrealistic uh, sets of circumstances, I think, in terms of children. It may be unhealthy. Yeah. Even, you know, Sasha thinks that she's going to keep her pillows and her walls and her white floors and carpet perfectly pristine. She has got another thing coming. It doesn't matter. She's like, I'm going to watch them. Yeah, okay. (laughs) You're going to have to step away. Like, mistakes happen, accidents happen, and you can't be uptight about it. Mm -hmm. I guess I can't tell right now if she will be uptight with her children. Mm -hmm. She seems like she's uptight with Nate, but I mean, he is an adult. So she has higher expectations, I hope, of him than she does of little children. Mm-hmm. But as soon as they smear some chocolate <laughs> on those white pillows, I want to know if, you know, if she's going to hit the fan. Like, <laughs> yeah, or crumbs. Got kids yeah. eat cookies and chips Don't and all they. of the, anything that crumbles. That's what yeah. the kid is going to have. Mm-hmm. And you know what? As best you can to try to keep, you know, a shot back and all that stuff. It just doesn't matter. Crumbs and, and stuff, they're going to drop stuff. Yeah. And so it's just part of the equation when you're raising kids. Yeah. And so she's going to kind of like have to, I don't know, maybe after the first child and the first child gets about one, maybe she'll have a, a better understanding of just how messy a child Yeah. Is. And hopefully it doesn't really stress her. Mm-hmm. Um you know, she can can ease into mm-hmm. the transition of, of what that's going to bring to her. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you said that you think she doesn't think life changes at all. Was that just in terms of the cleanliness in the house? Or do you think in terms of, like, how she parties, how, what she does? Parties that's what having, is yeah, having fun, mm-hmm. vacations, uh, the, the whole traveling. Anyone who, who's, who has children knows that when you travel with children or a child it's a whole lot different yeah it's a whole lot whether if you're flying or you're driving if you're driving are we there yet yet? literally how many bathroom breaks they yes yes how much longer (laughs) you said it was five hours (laughs) yes and it's been five minutes it's been five minutes you know so it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's nerve wracking yeah. for sure. You have to find the beauty and the fun in that mm-hmm. and not think, hey, you know, we're going to be able to go on a two weeks long vacation out of the country yeah. and leave these kids behind. And that's not going to happen anyway with Nate because he's not going for it. He feels like you have to be with your kids. And um, just basically probably because of his own abandonment issues yes. with his that, mom. That definitely came Yeah, out. that's very triggering for him. So he's not going for these long vacations without the kid. He feels like you name you owe them. You're very responsible for them. Mm-hmm. And that I agree with. You gotta shorten those trips. They may have to be weekend trips or four or five day trips. Yeah. But it's not gonna be weeks at a time. <laughs> yeah, away no. From the child. That's that's probably not gonna work out. So he is right about that. Hmm. But I felt like his outlook was more 
bleak, you know, in terms of like, it's just not fun. Like it, I get, I got the sense of for the next three years, we'll just have to sacrifice and be miserable. Yeah. And that shouldn't be the case either, because that will be a strain on your marriage. Yes. <laughs> if you feel like you can't have any fun, you can't live life in any ways like normal for the next three years. That's that's definitely going to be a problem. Very true. Um, you have to pr- prioritize your your marriage. You yeah. know, your marriage. I mean, you, your marriage is still going to come first, but your children are just going to have a, a greater need at that particular time. And so with Nate. And with Stasha, they're going to have to find a way to kind of like navigate that, yeah. you know, and yes, you're going to still have to date, date your wife and, and, and take her out. You're still going to have to find those free moments or whatever. And it's a little bit more difficult when you have a child or children, but you can, it can be done. Yeah. You know? I mean, my concern, I guess, is really just that they're so opposite in terms of what their expectations are that I feel like they could turn on one another. For instance, mm-hmm. when Nate said that the kid will draw on the walls and things like that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so say the child draws on the walls. And Sasha is upset, furious, and they just like, ah, you know, like kids do that type of thing. Now they they don't have a meeting of the minds probably about what discipline is necessary or anything. So that's going to present a problem in between the two of them. True. And they should come to a meeting of the minds beforehand and not try to deal with that situation on the spot. Yeah. I, yeah, definitely. But that's one thing that people usually don't talk about. People talk about, do you want kids? Yes yes yeah. or no. But you never really hear people talk about, what is my idea of raising a child? Yeah, the parenting style the is parenting huge. style, yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got to be ready to have those conversations, the theoretical conversations. What happens when the child is, you know, six months old? Is it old enough to go to daycare or no? You know, like, Nate's going to have strong opinions, I think, about all of these things. Yes, yes, uh, definitely. But those are conversations that they most definitely probably yeah. should have before they actually have the child, you know, because it's just not going to be them anyway. It's going to be grandparents that's going to help them out. It's, it, it is going to be daycare. And both of them make pretty good money. Yeah. And so they're going to be able to afford help. They so. are, but see, I, with them making a lot of money, they're probably going to want to travel too. And mm-hmm. that's going to bump squarely into what Nate thinks about, like, we shouldn't be away from the child. Like, this is our primary responsibility. So is that in and of itself going to create a conflict that maybe a lot of couples don't have because they can't afford to travel the way that Sasha and Nate would be able to? Well, how about this? Take the baby with them? Take the, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the vacation may have to change. And yeah. Instead of going to Jamaica, it may be to Disneyland or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But you're still traveling. You're still getting it out. But instead of you having like a week or two week vacation just with you two or the, you know, the husband and wife. Yeah. It may have to just be a, a overnight. You know, and that the baby can stay. <laughs> the baby one can stay. night? I'm well, not going to Disneyland for well, Disney no, World for one I'm night. I'm saying if they did go on a on Oh, a without excursion. the baby. Yeah. Okay. Without the baby, it may have to be overnight. No more than two nights, you know? so Yeah, that's, may, tough. It, I, that's a quick. big adjustment for a person like Sasha to make. She has not talked about her travel, at least not that I heard. But I guarantee you, with her bringing in half a million dollars a year, she's taking some vacations. Yeah. And they're they're good vacations and they're lengthy vacations and they're probably out of the country vacations. So for her to have to settle back into that and say, I'm gonna sacrifice this, not because I think I have to, but because my husband thinks like it's not in the best interest of the child mm-hmm. for me to be gone like this, that's probably gonna be a tough pill for her to swallow. Again, mm-hmm. this ties into her control thing. She's used to being able to do what she wants to do. Very true. So very true, but you just said it yourself. Children are going to require sacrifice, yeah. especially starting out, you know? Yeah. And today, you know, I was about to say five years old, but <laughs> it, it, the sacrifice continues. Forever. You know, it does, you know? <laughs> and so, you know, it's it's going to be a wake-up call for both of them. I think so. I, I, I think I, so. I, I, I think. would love if the experts would talk to them about this. They're yes. not going to. No. But it would be great, you know, with a couple that looks like, all systems I go in terms of decision day mm-hmm. for 
the experts to say, hey, let's have some real conversations yeah. about what you're going to run into. You guys want to have a baby. You're trying to get pregnant before this eight week process is over. Like, here's some real things that you need to think about and talk about before that baby comes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Very but. true. Very true. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about that. I think that's an issue that might have gotten glossed over a little bit. We'll see if they address it anymore. But we only got another episode or two before it's all over. This is but true. Uh, I, I think the baby situation may be a bigger um, sleeper issue <laughs> than than the control issue. It, it very well could be. Yeah. It very well could be. So, uh, you guys, I hope you start talking. <laughs> yeah. Drop those comments below, guys. Like, share, subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.